I think it's fun, and I think there's, you, there's a certain amount of creativity that you can exercise because it's a future that hasn't happened and it's a past that wasn't. So it's original. It's the aesthetics that I see. I, um, as a kid, I, I, I used to live in Toronto and I'd go to the museum all the time. You know, it was free for children, so I would roam around the museum. So the sculpture and the art has been in my blood since I was, you know, basically left the cradle. And uh, I've had a lot of artist friends over the years. I spent a lot of time um, just making different things, learning different processes, and then Somebody said to me one time, oh, you do steampunk. And uh, that was the first time I'd ever heard it. Uh, to me, it was just something that I did. It was just how I sculpted and how I um, assembled things. Um, but I found out later that it had a title and uh, apparently that um, I was making nice things that was steampunk. What's put me off in this direction is I've basically always been a recycler. I like to um, repurpose things and see them in a different way than they were actually maybe purposed for. I spend a lot of time down at the harbor. I love boats. I don't own a boat, but I, I love basically everything about boats. So I started to um, make these boats. Although they're not planned, measured, they're planned in my mind, and I know where I need to go. So they're not scale models, they're just sculptures. I kind of get lost when I go in to my shed and uh, when I start actually working a piece because it's not uncommon at all for me to come out from my work 14, hours later. I can go in uh, in the morning and I can come out at you know 10, 11 o'clock at night time and uh, that's something that it's not a, a labor to me. It's, I don't feel like I'm being tortured or anything. I'm just lost in time and I'm in my I'm in my zone. So it's a really for me it's a really good place to be. Well, the metal on the side here this flat stock is actually um, cake tins. Uh, square wedding cake pans with the pop-out bottom, but because it's an old metal, I get a really nice color when I um, when I burn it. I hammer it and I burn it. I get a great texture from it. As I've grown and and gotten more experience, I think my art now is better than it was. I I think steampunk's brought me to a good place as far as my skill sets, being able to uh, exercise them and put them all together. Uh, it just kind of works for me. I feel very comfortable when I'm creating these pieces and taking these parts and assembling them and say, well, that works, or that, that's not working, you know, try another piece or, oh, hey, that's, that's just, this is gonna be a good piece. Um, but it's, it's just, it's what I do. I know every junk store from Comox to Northern California. So when I go down the Oregon coast, if those stores are open, I'm in there. And I, I hunt and I root things and I, I go, oh, it's kind of weird when you're coming back across the border and they're going, oh, what's with the bird cage? Where's the bird? And I'm thinking, well, I didn't buy a bird. I just bought the bird cage and the, and the customs are going through your trunk and stuff looking for pets that you're smuggling because uh, they think it's odd, you know, that you've got these things and uh, they get nothing to do with bringing animals across. This, this stuff's going in my artwork.